Welcome students. Let us understand the function of small intestine in our body. So here there are two parts to understand the function of small intestine. In this first part, we are going to learn that what all digestive juices are getting mixed with the food particle, what are their function, what they are doing and how they are acting upon the food particle. And after this segment, we are going to learn that what small intestine will do and where small intestine will send the food. So here first, what is a small intestine? It is a highly coiled and 7.5 meter long organ in a body. It receives the secretion from liver and pancreas. It small also secretes some juices. So three kind of secretion it is receiving from liver, from pancreas and from its own wall. About liver, first we will learn what is a liver. So it is the largest gland in our body. It is a reddish brown gland and where it is situated? It is situated at the upper part of abdomen on right side. It is the largest gland and it is reddish brown in color. Now, the function of the liver, it secretes the bile juice. Now, this bile juice is stored in a sac which is known as gallbladder. Now, bile juice is being secreted from the liver. But it is coming from the gallbladder. Now what is a gallbladder? It is a sac where this bile juice is being stored. Now what bile will do? It will digest the fat. It will help in the digestion of the fat. So liver is secreting bile juice which is stored in a sac called gallbladder and bile juice will help in digestion of the fat. Now pancreas. It is a large cream color gland and where it is situated? It is situated below the stomach. Liver is situated at the upper part of abdominal on the right side. Whereas this is below stomach. Now pancreas will secrete pancreatic juice. Now what are the function of pancreatic juices? It will act on carbohydrate and fat and they are converting protein into simpler form. So the function of pancreatic juices are involving three things. They are digesting carbohydrate and fat and they are converting protein into simpler substance. Now when all digestive juices, liver juice and pancreatic juice will get mixed with the food particle, after that what will happen? The partly digested food will go to the lower part of small intestine where intestinal juices will complete the digestion. After that process, this process will happen and the intestinal juices will act upon them which will complete the process. Now, all these three process will happen that carbohydrates get broken into simple sugar like glucose, fats into fatty acid and glycerol. So fats are converting into fatty acid and glycerol, protein will convert into amino acid. Now, in small intestine, one of the most important process will happen and that is absorption. Once all this food will get digested with the help of intestinal juices, the absorption process will start. Now, let us learn that how small intestine will absorb this food and where this absorbed food particles will go. Now, how the absorption happens in small intestine? So, what is the absorption first of all? Digested food can pass into blood vessel into the wall of intestine and that is known as absorption in small intestine. Whatever digested food will be there will get absorbed into the lining of the small intestine. That is absorption. Inner wall has finger like outgrowth and it is termed as villi. This villi is the structure who will absorb the food or digested food. Will each villus, villus is a singular form when there are many in plural form we call it will. So each villus has network of thin and small blood vessel close to its surface. So from the villus directly digested food will directly get absorbed to the blood vessel. Now will will absorb digested food. It will transport it via blood vessel to organ. So this is a path of digested food that once the food will get digested into small intestine it will get absorbed by the villi and from there it will get transported via blood vessel to organ. In organs they used to build complex substances such as protein required by the body and this process is known as assimilation. So whatever digested food will be there, whatever food we are eating 
that food is used to make a protein. So it will get digested in small intestine via villi. Then it will get transported via blood vessel to the organ and in organ the cell will manufacture the protein in organ. They will build complex substance like a protein. So this process is known as assimilation. Now in cell what will happen that glucose will break down into simpler substance in presence of oxygen what we are breathing along with the air and they are liberating carbon dioxide, water and energy and this energy we are using in all the different types of action and activity what we are performing throughout the day. Now whatever unabsorbed food will be there that will pass to the large intestine.